35. Some people want more, others don't want any. Rick Cabrera tries to find the right balance in this ABC7 Listens. A few weeks ago, I shared an email from a viewer upset over Chief Meteorologist Doppler Day Spillman talking about the need for more rain. Stop asking for rain. I'm an old 75-year-old guy and I have lived in El Paso most of the time. As far as I'm concerned, no rain ever would be great. As I said at the time, our ecosystem needs the rain. Farmers count on it and too much or too little impacts various plants and vegetation in our area. Then this week we saw some flooding in places after Hurricane Newton brought a lot of rain. As a result, meteorologist Stephen Decatur shared the good news that will soon be drying out. That in turn got the attention of Frank. You said something like, good news, we will be drying up tomorrow. We have been in a drought all summer. We have been anxiously awaiting some rain. The good news is the rain, not more dry weather. Frank, I think in a vast majority of cases, Stephen and our Storm Track weather team would agree with you. Rain is good news, but it all depends on your perspective and the current situation. The borderland is a big place and some areas got hit again and again over a four day period and we did see some flooding in certain parts of town. So for those places, drying out was most definitely good news and a good thing because frankly in those areas, the ground just couldn't take any more rain. Ultimately, whether you wanted rain or no rain, everyone got what they wanted at some point this week. Rick Cabrera, ABC.